Hi guys, welcome to today's daily devotional. The theme is lose and bring them. Lose and bring them. Let's go to the memory first, which is taken from the book of Luke 9, 2. Luke 9, 2, which says, And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Let's go to Bible reading, which is taken from the book of Matthew 21, 1 to 9. Matthew 21, 1 to 9, which says, And they went, and when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethphage, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straight away you shall find an ass tied, and a colt with her. Loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straight away he will send them. All this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of, Slo of Sion, Behold, the king cometh un unto thee, meek, and sitting upon an ass, and a colt the foal of an ass. And the disciples went, and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they sent him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way, others cut down branches from the trees, and strode them in a way. And the multitudes that went before, and that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Let's go to the message. Today's Bible reading is very significant to all Christians, especially soul winners. Soul winners are expected to lose their converts from the bondage of Satan and sin. Jesus said in Mark 16, 17 to 18, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They, they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. We are not supposed to dialogue with the devil and his cohorts. All we need to do is to exercise our God-given authority. Our Lord Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. As soul winners, we must endeavor to go after entire households and bring them to Christ. The disciples decorated both the ass and the colt for the use of the master. Before our converts can be useful for the master, we must work on them by the preaching of the word. The Bible says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, with all long suffering and doctrine. Another lesson to learn from today's Bible reading is, is that we must glorify God through his beloved son. God has given Jesus Christ a name that is above every other name. That This is why the multitudes were singing, O Zion to the son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, O Zana in the highest. Our Lord himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. His Father said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and I will sup with him and he shall sup with me. Finally, both ass and its colt enjoyed the honor accorded the writer Jesus Christ. When we allow ourselves to be used of the Lord Jesus, his honor will rub off on us to the glory of his name. 
Purify yourself for the master's use today and you will be rewarded for it. Lastly, we have a prayer point which says, Father, please help me to carry out your great commission effectively. Bring families and communities into your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please help me, use me to fulfill your great commission effectively and also bring entire, entire families and, and communities into your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in Jesus' name. Amen.